Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Minute coming at you. Uh, we're, we're throwing strikes and getting likes. Uh, we are really close to the school here, guys. Opening day is tomorrow. I think last I checked it was 870 something. I'm really excited for this. Uh, I really like and appreciate everybody who's coming. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, it means so much to me to watch the number grow daily. It gets me excited, it gets me juiced to do more of these videos, to talk to more of you. Uh, and feel free to comment, hit me up on Facebook. Guys, I am always open to chat brewers. So with that being said, one day away from baseball in Milwaukee. Who is excited? This guy. Uh, so obviously there's a lot of talk now uh, predict the predictions for the roster are just about over. I mean, I think we pretty much know who's making the team at this point. We have done a lot of moving in the last week. Guys getting sent down, AAA options, that kind of thing. Uh, the injured list has unfortunately taken shape. Uh, we are losing Jeffress, Knabel, and Jimmy. I don't. I didn't think that Jimmy was going to make it, so that's not one that I'm surprised on. There's no timetable on him, his shoulder. This has been like a two-year injury, so at this point, I hate to say it, but I'm tired of talking about Jimmy's injury. It, let's just let him play baseball, and hopefully he comes back. Um, Knable, UCL tear. He's had this in the past. He's already had Tommy John. Is he going to have another? We don't know because they're not telling us. Straight up. They're not telling us. Uh, and maybe that has something to do with positioning because they don't want to have to pay a free agent uh, to replace him. I don't know. I'm not going to say yes or no on that. I think it's going to be half the season to full season. I.e., if the, he has Tommy John, it's full season. It's going to be a year before he's back. Jeffress, shoulder. We're hoping to see him in April. That's what they're telling us. I'm going to believe it. He's throwing a bullpen today, so let's see where that goes. Um, so off the injury notes, we are now on to uh, the Brewers optioned Jake Patrika to AAA, uh, San Antonio. Not not that I didn't expect it, but, you know, we're, we're taking shape. We're just trying to make those final moves. Now, Council noted that he said the roster's not set yet. They have till 11 a.m., tomorrow on opening day to set their roster so if something happens in between we'll see it maybe does that say that there might be an option to get a Kimbrel or something yeah but again I don't I mean my brain says yes we want Kimbrel we're gonna get him but my heart says no we're not so uh history of late signings we've gotten Torres Hughes Jennings all last minute so it's it's going to be interesting. It's going to be down on the wire to see if we get make that last-minute acquisition. But at this point, I'm saying no, guys. Sorry. I don't like to be negative, but I think it is. Uh, so, as you guys know, we all are uh, looking at this season, looking at the slate, looking at the numbers, talking about that. Uh, we do have a very hard road coming up ahead here with 10 games against the St. Louis Cardinals. Seven games against the Dodgers. I mean, it's going to be a tough road. So we'll see how the season shapes up. We're going to talk more about that in other videos. So follow those. Um, I'm tr going to try and get as many videos up today as possible about my predictions and outcomes. Tonight, the big prediction, the big prediction schedule, uh, where I break down like first home runs, that kind of thing. I talk about all that in a video. I know a lot of other people don't care, but I do. So, just I like little little benchmarks and things to to be like, yeah, I was right about that. You know, I think we all do. So, we'll talk more about those guys, and uh, definitely stay tuned for that video. Now, opening day is set. Uh, we know the pitchers, Miles and Shasin. It's a one ten start. Uh, gates open at eleven. For the stadium and then 10 for the parking lot so get there early guys um a couple years back i ended up far off in the distance i ended up at the state fair park i carried some beers on met up some people but you know you don't want to ta tailgate at state fair park so get there early 
the other obvious magnet schedule giveaway we get one every year um special shout out by the way uh there is a member of one of the facebook groups jay uh he has been to 50 opening days in a row 50 now obviously i'm not even close to 50 years old yet so 50 is a long long time there's a cool story about him read it on journal sentinel this is just a pop for that story so go read that story it's pretty cool he's got a special t-shirt big yellow t-shirt it's really cool um mike and dan the antanasios are going to be doing the national anthem tribute to their grandpa joe who's done it many years past until he passed so that's kind of par for the course uh we don't know who's throwing out the first pitch we're going to talk more about that later another video so check that out one of the final final pieces here to today's video uh i i happen to watch and i don't know if you guys watch all these interviews or not but i happen to watch josh Hader's interview on journal sentinel they had a little video and he talks about the game and where he is and they're kind of probing him almost to say well are you gonna be a closer that kind of thing and basically, he he comes out, and he's very humble and quiet, and, you know, maybe that's just Josh's personality, and I think it is, and I love it, not going to lie. But he says it's going to take an army to get through this season. You know, they're, they're pressing him about the bullpen issues and the injuries and stuff like that. And he says it's going to take an army to get through, which it does. I mean, we're not lying there. He's, he's saying something very true. And one of the things with that... It's just his humble attitude. You know, they probed him. Is he going to be closer? That kind of thing. And he basically said, I'm going to go play. I'm going to get outs where they need me to get outs. And that's, I'm going to do my job. That's that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to play baseball. And they asked him, oh, what inning do you prefer? And all that. And basically he said, anytime, anywhere, put me in. Whatever they need. I'm not going to do... If I have to not do multiple innings, I'll do one inning. You know, whatever they need, basically. And I think that's really cool to watch a player be like that and, you know, present himself that way. So, I'm really excited to watch Josh Shader this year. He's, I saw him pitch in spring training. It was really awesome. I think we got a great team, and we're going to talk more about how great this team is going to be and uh, what my expectations and predictions albeit they may not be, you know, fully, I guess they're more expectations than predictions, but they're things I'd like to see this season. I think we all have those. Um, so share, we'll, we'll, we'll have a big share session later. Uh, again, guys, I am so thankful you're here. Uh, morning brew about the crew. I didn't even pop the, the coffee yet. I think my enthusiasm is why I'm just I'm here right now. I'm doing videos. We're going to do a bunch of them today. So uh, check the channel. You'll see a lot of updates. And smash that like button, guys. Subscribe. Share it with your friends. We're going to hit this thing. I, 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 want, I want to say it's a chip shot, but I'm a little nervous because it's still 100 and some people and we don't know. So I will be at Miller Park tomorrow, guys. If you want to come say hi, uh, drop me a line on Facebook. Drop me a line in the YouTube comments. Um, we'll get some pictures, selfies, whatever it's got to be. We'll do it. So you guys have a great day. Check out the future videos here. And as always, go Brewers. Opening day. Woo! Thank you for watching me. Look, pardon me, Ned. <laughs> Thanks.